morning everybody it is bush fishing the sun just peeked up over the trees and it is a beautiful day 72 days is jesus 72 degrees is the high today and we're going to be working on our lakeland 1790 pro as you guys have seen in the last few episodes in yesterday's episode we got the first piece of wood in the transom so that's what we're going to be building off of today here it is laid in super nice super strong already but we've got a lot of work to do to get this thing ready to hold a 90 horse so that's what we're basically going to be getting into but if you guys are new here before we start i'm bush fish and i make fishing videos and outboard repair videos and now boat building videos we already have a series on my original boat over there if you guys want to check that out i'll leave it in the description or there's a card right there but this is my big beautiful boat for 150 bucks and it needed a lot of work in the first few episodes we basically repaired the floor ripped everything out repaired the front deck re-glassed that and now we're into the most important part which is the transom so yesterday we got our first sheet laid in glassed in and some of it but today we have a lot of work to do so what i think i'm going to start with is well the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use my template and cut out that on a three quarter inch piece of plywood because that's the exact gap that we need to fill down here and then after that i'm gonna mix up a lot of the thickened epoxy i call it thickened epoxy i'm using resin and it's got the west system 402 silica additive and that's what's gonna make it thick and i'm gonna pipe it in all the cracks and then once that's done i'm gonna put resin actually i'll probably put resin first on the original piece of wood here on the new piece and fill up all the gaps and everything and then stick it together because that's what's going to take the longest to dry so hopefully by the end of the day that'll be all solid so i can actually get the piece of glass that we cut out onto the boat and the transom will look normal again and while we wait for all of that there are a bunch of things i need to do i need to come with the filler make a fillet down all this and on the inside and down below and then i need to glass the entire inside and stuff like that so we'll get into that in a little bit but today i'm going to try and make a more involved video and talk to you guys more so it's not just time lapses so let's get into it the first thing i need to do is figure out how i want to cut this because this piece of wood is like barely the perfect size so once i'm done with that we'll get cutting and get glassing okay so hopefully you guys can see this whole thing sorry for the noise there's a lot of construction right now this is the perfect template for what i need now I need to trace this. I have it fit perfectly on this sheet of plywood so that it all fits. And the only thing I'm worried about is this bottom corner, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Now, I need to create a little bit bigger of a gap here because on my other sheet, that was where I screwed up. We do have a good gap here. All right, everybody, so you guys just saw that. I got the three quarter inch plywood fit in there. I only did the one piece because I knew it was gonna be like damn near impossible to get out because it is a super tight fit, but that's a really good thing. So right now I got it laid out. I'm gonna get the sander out, sand that down, sand down the existing wood that's already in the transom. And then I'm gonna get mixing up a bunch of the filler. I'm gonna splooge it in there real good. And then I'm gonna put resin on the new wood, the wood that's already in there and then mix up another thing of filler and slap it on that wood that's already in there. I should have a pretty good working time because right now it's 69 degrees. Nice, 70 actually, real feel 70. So I should have a pretty good working time with it and I should be able to get all that in and then jam the wood in and clamp her all together. So I'm gonna get sanding and then we'll start mixing. Everything over there is cleaned with acetone. Now I'm going to mix up the first batch of resin, just pure resin, and I'm going to get it on the new wood that's going in and on the old wood, and then I'm going to mix up a bunch of the thickened epoxy. First wood.
All right, everybody, so there you have it. I haven't talked to you in a while. I know I said this was gonna be a more involved video, but kinda got a little frustrated when that second piece of plywood wouldn't go in, whatever. I thought I had a lot ahead of me, but it really wasn't that bad. So what you guys saw is on the inside, I filled all the gaps with the gap filler and everything. I got all that cleaned up and filled. And second piece of wood went in this morning, let it sit for two hours, took off the clamps, and now the outside fiberglass is completely stuck on there with the resin. I did put some fiberglass, the 1708, over the cracks where I cut the two sheets, and now this is sitting to dry. So basically, we're pretty much done on the outside. The only thing that needs to be done is I have to grind a really big bevel all along those cracks and then fill it up with the 1708 glass and then grind the whole back flat and sand her down and i'm probably going to end up patching up some of these holes and stuff because the new motor i do not think will be the same bolt pattern as that but i did make the wood a bit big i honestly i don't know how that happened but that's just going to get cut down and then the whole cap's going to get glassed and on the inside hopefully you guys can see that I do have one sheet of glass down the middle and all the gaps got filled with the gap filler. So it does look like a mess in here, but all of this, pretty much the whole inside is going to get glassed. And what you guys didn't see is I glassed this whole top part, uh, I don't know if that's the bulkhead, but I got the sides glassed up all along the bottom and up on this side. So basically what I have left in here is I need to build a new subfloor for the bilge and the walls around it and I need to get that glassed into the transom for strength and into the bulkhead. I do want to make this extremely extremely strong because I do not want to have to do this again because it was a pain and then after that I pretty much have to build the entire new back deck with all the new storage that I'm going to do so you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that but I don't really know if I'm going to end the video here because I do have some more that I'm going to come out and do. I'm probably going to end up fiberglassing this inside because I have to work the next three days and I probably won't do too much, maybe a little glassing in between, but on this weekend is when I really want to get this entire bilge deck and back deck built because then we're going to be pretty close to being done with this boat. Then it's all the fun stuff on the inside, the carpet, all the wiring, stuff like that. For now, I will say goodbye if you guys see an intro after this, well then it's the end of the video, but you might see me do some more glass, but I'm super happy with how this came out so far. Hopefully it's as strong as I think it is, and yeah, we'll be back later.